Hello everyone and welcome welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having the most incredible day. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, honey, you have found him. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I will literally spill all the tea you need, honey. You are, are you a dehydrated boo? I will hydrate you up, honey. I do about five videos a day, all right? But listen, listen, we, we, I have been keeping you guys updated with all things Britney. I like to call it the Brit T and everything going on with her low down, dirty bum, J-O-B list, fetter line drama. And also, you know, the, uh, the Britney thing. Um, I've literally, I made a playlist for you guys. If you want to go watch it's, it's, I'm going to put this on the playlist so you can watch all the other videos I've done. But something I wanted to actually talk about, and it's about those videos and why those videos exist in the first place. And this is something that I've actually have been like sort of, you know, you know, when you have something in your mind and you, you, you're trying to put things together. And then finally today, a messy light bulb came out of my head and I was like, oh my God, oh my God, you know, oh my God, Lindsay Lohan, oh my God. Do you guys remember that? See the light. Go to the light, Brittany. Go to the light, Brittany. Do you remember that too? Oh my God, that was so crazy. See the light. What did she say? Anyways, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, if you know, you know. <laughs> if you know, you know. Anyways, so one thing that went off in my head, I'm like, who told these kids to record her? Who have made these kids so against her, right? Now listen, there has been a lot of talks of, in, in, with, with all of us, right? The public, the media, everyone, right? About the kids. And like, here's the thing, and I made this very clear in my other video. These, they're not kids. They're gonna be 18 pretty soon, right? At 18, almost 17, 18, 16, 17, 18, you are aware of everything. Like, you're not a little kid. Like, there is no excuse, right? You can make up your own things. Of course, there's still a lot to learn. There's still a lot to mature on. I get all of that. Bitch, I was a mess, but I knew what was right, what was wrong. I knew how much my mother sacrificed for me. I knew, you know, who should be in my life family-wise. I knew that if you disrespected my mother, I will go fucking and end you. I knew these things at a young age, right? So I was really thinking and I was like, there is one person or people responsible, and I. And this is my opinion, I think that Kevin had a lot to do with how these kids think about their mother. And I'll tell you why. Obviously, they didn't grow up a normal childhood, right? They didn't, because even take the conservatorship away, having your parent be one of the biggest stars in the whole world that must be weird, right? I mean, it must be. You see people crying over your mom. You see people, you know, talk about your mom all the time. You see your mother in videos and headlines and magazines. Like, it's it's crazy, right? Like, I, to, and then add a conservatorship, add all of these questions that probably were not answered correctly. You know, I can't help but wonder, my Carrie Bradshaw moment, when these kids would ask their father or their grandfather, hey, how come you know, we can't go with mom to the movies or why can't, uh, why can't we go with mom? Why can't she come now and pick us up? Or, you know, something like that, that had to do with the conservatorship. I wonder how they handled that. Like, I really wonder how they, 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 um, they fed these boys with the proper knowledge and with the proper, you know, words. You know what I mean? If they didn't see their mother so often and it had to be with supervision you know most times was with her father that they could see she could see the children the people who really molded them the people who made them who they are now the people who are responsible for if they're spoiled or not is kevin right because they spend 98 percent of their time with kevin 
So I can't help but wonder with the recordings, and as Kevin said, there's many other recordings, why did that come up? And did Kevin tell them, hey, record some, record your mother being mad at you, right? Or, you know, feeding them things that maybe will turn them against their mother. Because one thing is for sure, as much as a Britney fan I am, in my mind, she is not perfect. In my mind, I am sure there's a lot of things that have gone behind the scenes. But in just the grand aspect of everything, it's incredible to me that as soon as their mother is free, they decide not to see her. Their mother has been freed. This December is going to be one year. And they haven't seen their mother allegedly for the past five months, right? So like I've said in my previous video, I'm not a shrink. I'm not a psychologist. But what I am is a human being that I can imagine the moment you are free, you... you you express yourself, you're happy, you're excited, you you want to run wild, right? And for somebody who was stuck in this sort of jail, well, in a jail for 13 years, I can't imagine that they are meeting a brand new person because I'm sure that Britney in conservatorship was very different than free, you know, free Britney that she is now. Although when she was in the conservatorship and we would see paparazzi videos or we would see interviews or special moments that were caught on camera for the public, candid moments, all you know is that Britney loves them and Britney cares for them and Britney would do anything for them, right? But someone must have poisoned their mind about Britney. And if this is all because of an Instagram, of Instagram post, and, and they being embarrassed for their mother, this, this has to be the work of someone else. You know what I mean? And it's just so crazy that now that she is finally free, all of these negative things and stories want to be coming out. Her father wants her to come to court. Kevin is talking to newspaper, or to interviews. His children are being mentioned. So many things is happening. So I really can't wait until the boys are old enough to actually sit down and have an interview or, you know, they don't owe the public anything, of course, but I'm pretty sure there has to be something behind the scenes that just does not add up to me because, God, if I was in their position, I would be so proud of my mom, not only of the things that she accomplished career-wise, but also that that woman is such a survivor, 13 years in this jail, and she survived, she pulled through, and she pulled through for them. And maybe they are too young, and yeah, maybe they're very connected to their father, right? Because maybe they are, maybe cause since they did grow up, and maybe also mom's house wasn't that fun. Maybe mom's house wasn't all that joyful and filled with, with laughter because there was a woman being held captive. So maybe they don't have such a strong bond with their mother, but now that she is free, this is the moment to do so. This is the moment to really, really meet and 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 and, and figure out and have this new relationship with their mother. Imagine seeing your mother being taken away for months, being locked up. Imagine seeing all of these strange grown-ups, you know, around your mother, uh, you know, and her maybe crying or, or all the things that these kids witnessed, it's not Britney's fault. It's the people who forced her into this conservatorship. So instead of Britney being labeled as the bad one and them refusing to see her, they should do something about the people who put her in there in the first place. And again, I feel bad for them too because they are young. They're, they're kids, right? but they're old enough to understand what is right and what is wrong, unless they have been heavily brainwashed. So I don't know. All I know and I hope and pray is that when they are, when one day they need to really wake up and they need to say, and they need to see, damn, my mother, my mother is so strong. My mother, she's such a fucking survivor. You know what I mean? And she worked her ass off even when she was in under such, you know, handcuffs, you know, literally in such a bad environment that she hated to be in. So I don't know. I, I don't know what to believe. I mean, when I think it was Sean Preston, 
um, or Jaden, one of them, they, they did a live, you guys remember this, and they spoke really bad about Britney's father and they, they spoke about, you know, the conservatorship and how it was fucked up and, 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 and that she's trying to get out and all of these things. And, you know, and they spoke really ill of their grandfather and there is still a, a um, uh, restraining order. So there's just something not adding up and it's very weird and it just smells very fishy to me. You know what I mean? Um, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. It's just a thought I had that it just does not make sense. You know, I was looking and I love saying this. If two plus two is four and five plus five is 10, what the fuck is this? You know what I mean? So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.